Hey there everybody, Mandy Taylor here with TheMightyCloth.biz. I wanted to take a second and show you um, how our EnviroCloth compares to um, your standard disinfecting wipe um, under a black light. So we've got some glow germ powder here. Um, all this is, um, it just is a powder to simulate germs. It glows under ultraviolet light. Um, and so all I want to do is just take this glow germ powder here, put it on this plate, So all I'm going to do is just smush it down, spread it out a little bit, see it on my fingers, I'm just going to wipe that off. Okay, so we've got glow germ powder right here in the center of the plate, all right? And all I'm going to do now is just take a disinfecting wipe. Um, I don't know about you, but I don't want these touching my skin. Um, so I'm going to wear a rubber glove, a really cute rubber glove, huh? So grab one of these disinfecting wipes. All right, so I've got a disinfecting wipe. So all I'm going to do now is just clean the surface. Okay, I'll even bring it a little bit closer. So there you go. You can see the powder. So what this says on the back of the wipe is actually for um, to clean, you need to Keep the surface visibly wet for 10 minutes. Um, each disinfecting wipe um, package, even if it's the same brand, um, has a different instruction. I don't know about you, but I'm not in the habit of cleaning the same area for 10 minutes. Uh, I don't know, that's a long time. That's like several timeouts in my world, or like cooking a pot of pasta. 10 minutes is a long time. I'm not going to stand here for 10 minutes and do this. I don't have time in my life to spend 10 minutes cleaning every surface in my house. I just don't have that kind of time. I don't know. Maybe you do. I just don't. So, got our surface all nice and clean now. So, the way that you have been um, taught to clean by your, you know, parents, your grandparents, whoever taught you to clean, um, is using chemicals um, and kind of coating to kill. That's what it's called. So you're using the chemical... Um, and you're coating to kill whatever was there. You're using your paper towel, your chemical, you coat to kill, you wipe it away. What you're doing is trusting that that chemical is doing its job and that that paper towel is also doing its job. Um, what this, uh, the, the Norwex microfiber does, is we clean mechanically. So instead of coating to kill, we're like sweeping to clean. Think about like the spokes on a bike. Um, so instead of just pushing everything around, it physically grabs it and picks it up and holds it nice and high and tight within those fibers and it stays there until you rinse it out in the sink and then you just rinse everything down. So we're coating to kill so far. We've used our disinfecting wipe. Okay. Now I want to show you what it looks like under the black light. So we've talked about coating to kill versus sweeping to clean. But what we haven't talked about yet is the residue that remains. So let's take a look here. So we did everything we were supposed to and look at this. Okay. So everything, you can see kind of the smeary, I know it's hard to see on the camera, but everything that's bright, hot, white like that is glow germ powder. You can see if I'm at an angle, you can see that it's all swirly. Okay, but the, there's a good angle. But the fact that it's all hot white like that shows that it's reacting to the black light. Okay, so this is the residue that remains. It's hard to do in reverse as I'm looking at the camera. Okay, so let's say you just cleaned your um, bathroom and then you've used your chemicals, you've uh, coated to kill, you've wiped everything up with your paper towel. The very next person that comes to sit down on that is going to have this all over their backside, this residue. We know that it only takes a few seconds for chemicals to absorb into your bloodstream, right? So instead of that, let me show you the way that it works with Norwex. All you do is just take a damp Enviro cloth and just clean the surface. The chemicals work as long as you use them as intended. I'm not saying that they don't. The way that we've been taught for however many years it's been uh, is a perfectly fine way to do it. Um, the chemicals do work when used properly. Um, but the question is, are they necessary? So, instead of coating to kill, 
what I'm suggesting is that we start sweeping to clean. Okay, so you can see this hard line here. This is all white hot over here, and then there's a line right down the middle. So hard to see. Oh, there's a good one. Okay, so over here we've got nothing. It's blue, purple. Then we get here, we see the line. See that line? And then over here, this is all that residue that remains. And this is on all of your surfaces around the house. This is on your furniture, this is on your counter, this is on your floor. Anywhere that you use a chemical, you're going to have this residue. Okay? So, when you're cleaning with chemicals, as long as you're doing it properly, it's definitely going to work. Obviously, otherwise we wouldn't be buying them, we wouldn't have commercials, they wouldn't be billion dollar industries. Uh, but the question is why? Instead of coating to kill and having this residue that remains all over your backside, let's try and think about the 21st century way to clean and start sweeping to clean instead of coating to kill. So, if you have any questions, definitely reach out to me. Um, you can reach me on my... Um, email address, you can text me, you can call me, um, all of my information is in the next slide. Thank you so much for watching, have a great day, and think about maybe a new way to clean. Maybe you can get rid of all these kind of things in your house, save a ton of money, a ton of time, have it be healthier for you and for your family, Help your, have your kids be able to help you clean without having to worry that they're you know, touching toxic chemicals, and um, make your life a whole lot easier, a lot less to worry about. So thanks again for watching. Have a great day.